second major development that has occurred in writing instruction has been the use of software that allows students to collaborate. In the past, students were seen as individuals in front of their piece of paper or their computer creating text on their own. Collaboration software, in contrast, allows students to work together so that they can integrate their ideas. Two heads might be better than one, or maybe even three might be better than two, so that students can benefit from speaking about what they're writing, getting the ideas of others, and putting all of that together. Such collaboration software is used a lot in business, and so the process of collaborative writing also prepares students for work in the real world. In our example of a person I admire, a collaboration between two writers might have resulted in a suggestion to change the title and not to use the same title that is in the prompt. This would make the title specific and give the title more of a central position that the essay could then help to develop. So the suggestion which I've indicated here, using myself as the collaborator, is to replace a person I admire with the greatest U.S. president. If students are working together on a text like this, they can have a conversation through these comments to write and discuss and revise using their ideas. Let's take a look at some of the important differences that collaboration software has made in writing pedagogy. If we think of writing alone, the focus is on the individual's writing ability or how well this person can write on his or her own. For collaborative writing, the focus is on writing in a social context. And this is, as I mentioned, something that a lot of students will be doing in the future. Therefore, this is possibly a good thing to begin doing in the classroom. If we consider writing alone, writing is prompted by reading and by thinking. These are the two kind of inputs and processes involved in writing, whereas when writing is done collaboratively, writing can still be prompted by reading and thinking. But discussion can also play an important role. And talking is another process that allows students to consider what they are writing and practice what they have to say and try things out. These processes are really important for language learning as well as for producing good writing products. Third, if we are thinking of writing alone, feedback comes from teachers and from the computer after the student writes something. The students are on their own while they are writing. In collaborative writing situations, feedback comes from peers as part of the collaboration process. Feedback can still be obtained from teachers and computers, but the collaborative writing process naturally brings about a lot of feedback during the process of conceptualizing and drafting, as well as revision.